I'm here to talk through this Sunday Stumper by Jonas Gleim called Compass. It's an Aero Thermo Sudoku hybrid, and it's got one easy digit here at the start, which is this one in this big S uh, cage. We can mark some ranges for these cells like we would typically in a Thermo Sudoku, but we're not going to get pretty far by doing them. The more important thing is probably to track this one elsewhere into the grid, and in particular, it's got to be dodging the thermometer shape for the end, the north. And that leaves us seven cells with eight digits to go in them, so one degree of freedom. So we can put in an increasing ladder, which is forced in those cells. And that's going to set up a key tension here, which is, I think, on this right side of this N. We've got a lot of large values. Three of these digits larger than six are here, so there's only one more digit larger than six to go in these cells. And so I can't actually take a case where I like mark this three six. I can't have this be a six and then this be a seven, because that would now take too many options away from the top. So there's a light constraint, which is that the this digit has to be small, but we also have to get one more of these digits to be small, five or smaller. And so let's just think about, can both of these be five or smaller? That requires all six of these to be five or smaller through the thermometers. Can these be five or smaller? Yes, just these four need to be five or smaller. But what that does mean is this can only be a three or four, and this can be four or five. And those constraints now are going to get us started in the grid because if this is two, three, four, up to five, this cell can be anything from two through seven, but this can't be as low as three. These can be small, but this has to be at least a six. So this is six to eight, this is seven to nine. And I think the, the first break in through the puzzle is having done all those marks, recognize that we have a, a forced big digit, but it also is forced to be the six in the bottom right of the N. That puts in a 5, puts in a 4, puts in a 3, puts in a 2. That's going to put a lot of constraints around this puzzle, but in particular, this, this space can only be as small as a 5. So the 2, 3, and 4 have to come up the other end of that thermometer shape. This cell can't be a 5 because of the 5 up above, so the 5 is forced to go in here. And uh, if I actually look across numbers I've got, I actually now have a 1, 2, 5 triple on the right here. The center arrow has to have a valid sum for it, and where we've got most of the small numbers except three and four used, and three and four have to be in the center column. They are along the arrow. Seven, which is their sum, goes in here. That means a seven is gonna be in this cell, and a seven is gonna be in this bottom cell. For this thermo to work out, then the six is down here, and the eight and nine are over here. That puts an eight up top. Puts a nine as the other digit in the center column. Puts in a six, eight, nine triple, and we've got the star of the grid, which is getting these three center shoots set based off the south and north thermometers. Let's now come ac across and actually look at some of these external arrows. Notice that all these arrows have three cells within the same cage. So that means these are going to be six, seven, eight, or nine in size. And we've got some values. For instance, this eight, nine sees that cell. So six and seven are left. Six, seven sees this one. So eight and nine are left. Uh, this right now is a six, seven, nine. This is a 789, just from the values we have and the thermometers around. Some other things to note, though, is we've got 1, 2, 3 together here, which means this is going to be a large value on that arrow cell, and this is going to be a large value in this arrow cell. And these two together, I think, are the next break in for this puzzle. We can't get anything that's just 1, 2, 3 in the cell, so 6 is impossible here. This has to be a 7 with a 4 and the smallest available digits of 1 and 2 sitting on the rest of that arrow. Eliminate 7 up here, but more importantly, it now puts some constraints on this arrow. With 1 and 2 eliminated, except in this cell, like 1 is the smallest here, 5 is the smallest here, and 3 is the smallest here, 1, 5, and 3 as minimums lead to the maximum sum as possible. So this is also required, and we can mark that in. Looks like the bottom row of the grid is a 5 and 8 to place, and there's already a 5 in this box. So 8 is here, 5 is here, we're going to have an 8, 9 pair. That leaves behind a 3-6 pair. Over here we have a 2-4 pair and a 6-7 pair. Um, this 9 cancels down here, so actually this is a 6-7. Note we've got a 6-7 pair, but that's really, really unlikely we're going to use that right away, except for the fact this arrow clue is again going to need to be small, need to have a 1 along its arrow, and so this 1 is required to go here. 
6 is 2 of 3, 7 is 2 of 4, so this arrow also always has to have a 2 on it, and the 2 can't go in the bottom, it's got to go in the cell. So it's another 3, 4 option here. So this all looks good. Do we have some more we can do? Well, this arrow still looks like it's got some options. We've got a 1 that's going to come across here, a 2 that's going to come across here. We tend to not like marking those, so I'll leave those out for now. Here's an either or for a 5. Puts a 5 on the arrow. That looks really valuable. So now 5 of 1 and 2 is 8, or 5 of 1 and 3 is 9. So that 1 has to be on this arrow. And this will have a 2 or 3 finishing it out. Um, this one now can't be on this thermometer, so it's somewhere in these cells. And that means this is a 1 here. This is a 2 here. That cancels some options. Let's continue some of that thinking and actually do more uh, right now across this thermometer in general. It sees 1, 4, and 5 at the bulb, so this bulb will have to be 2 or 3. The next cell looks like it'll be 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6 coming up. But as I do this, I get some issues where this can be 6, 8, 9, this can be 6, 8, 9. There's no 7 on this thermometer. And that means that even this 6 isn't going to work, because the 6 would require 8, 9, 9 to go. And so the fact that a 7 is in one of these cells is going to be limiting, and in particular, remove this as an option for that 6. That comes down and removes this as an option. So this is just 3 or 4. And is there more we can do than that? Um, for right now, I think that's enough, because it sets up a 3, 4, 3, 4 pair which means this can't have a 3, this has to be a 2, and that means this is actually a 2, 5 forced at the top, and in this order because of the other digits given. So that means with these digits set, this has to be a 3, this is an 8 for the sum. This coming out means there's a 6, 9 pair, so this isn't a 6 here, this is just these values, all these options for the 1, the 2 options for a 7, and some other value setting those cells apart. Got two sixes here. We actually didn't mark this in. This is one on the bottom, nine on the top. Six, seven coming over to here. So probably a good time to look at the last thermometer we haven't looked at, which is the west. And let's start in this crooked cell, which is seeing a fair number of numbers. It sees five, seven, eight. It can be as small as three, it also allows a four. It can be as large as six, but the other values are eliminated from it. That means coming downwards, we can still have a 2 in this cage. Um, the 3 down below is eliminated, but 4 and 5 are good options. And those can be 1, 2, 3, 4. This growing larger looks to be a 4, a 6, a 7, or a 9. Now there are some other things we've noted before that might help us out, like this 3, 4 pair. Let's actually look at what it does. Here's the digit 3 with that 3-4 pair. It says a 3 is on the thermometer, so we can't put a 4 here. So that's helpful. Another thing is it's, here's a 3-4 in this cell. Um, effectively, we need to have a 3-4 twice in this space, and 3-4 is going to be small. Here's a cell. Let me sort of show you a different way to sort of say this. This can be a 6, 7, 9 right now when 3 and 4 are eliminated, as well as 1, 2, 5, 8, and 2. And, and those spaces. So this is a 6, 7, this is a 6, 7, and this, this digit is larger than this digit, so this digit will be the last of a 6, 7, 9 triple, and this will be just 3, 4. And if that's the case, then this doesn't have an option of 4 or 5. This has to be a 2, this has to be a 1. That eliminates this, so this is a 1, 7 pair. Um, these 2's come across, and so it's now actually a 1, 5 pair. This 2 comes over here to put a 2 and a 4 together. And that's actually interesting, because now this 3, 4 and this 3, 4 work together again. So they're going to cancel all these cells with what they see. And so this will have to be a 3, 4 here. So this 3, 4 makes another 3, 4 pair, which means this is a 5. And so this is an 8. This is now a 6 and 9 in that order, because of how the thermometers have to work out. This is a 6. This is leaving behind that 8, 9. This has to cancel out. Um, this cell will be a 3, 4. This last value here is a 5. This coming over here is a 5. We're going to have an 8 coming across and a 9 coming up. And critically, the last digit where a 3 can go is right here. 
So that's going to move over the six and seven to make the, the arrow sum valid. It leaves behind a nine here for the thermo and a six at the top. That nine puts in a nine and an eight. That leaves an eight over here in some order. It's also going to put a seven up top here. And this six working down to the bottom means six with seven, seven with eight, eight with nine moving down, four up to the top. That moves four down here. That completes the three, four pair, three, four pair, three, four pair. Um, that three puts a three to the right, six to the left, six here, nine, nine, sorry, nine here, nine with eight, seven to the left means seven, one, one, five, and we're through those challenging puzzles. So good set of work throughs from the start, seeing that you needed two small digits here was key, going through the arrows was then the next key step. Uh, getting some more things around this 2-3 pair, particularly seeing a 3-4 elimination was, was then a key central aha. And eventually even working through this uh, thermometer on the right to see that this cell, actually both of these cells eventually were another 3-4 pair, uh, got us through to the finish. So not an easy puzzle, but hopefully through this video you got a sense of some of the ahas that Jonas put into it. Thanks for the puzzle, Jonas, and thanks for watching this video. We'll see you again soon.